Hi, I'm Yan Yu, a family doctor in Canada. With all the misinformation around the vaccines for COVID-19, making some people hesitate to get vaccinated, that has some scientists wondering, besides vaccination, is there a drug that you can take not to treat COVID after an infection, but to prevent you from even getting COVID in the first place? In other words, a drug for preventing COVID, not a vaccine. And the answer is yes. The drug's name is Evusheld, and it's a combination of two human antibodies, Tixagevimab and Silgavimab. These are antibodies that have actually been isolated from humans who have survived COVID-19. In this video, I'll go over the study that describes this drug, which was recently published in the New England Journal of Medicine. I will explain whether Evusheld works at preventing COVID-19 infection, how Evusheld is administered, who Evusheld is for and why, reasons not to get Evusheld, and finally, stick around to the end of the video to hear my thoughts about whether Evusheld can actually replace vaccination as a way to prevent COVID-19. So first of all, does it work? Here's what scientists in the study did. They studied 5,254 people from 87 centers in the US, UK, Belgium, France, and Spain. They randomly put them into the treatment and control groups in a two to one ratio. 3,460 people were given Evusheld, 1,737 people were given the placebo. Now the scientists chose the people included in the study very carefully. In order to determine whether Evusheld actually works to prevent infections, the people included in the study had to be people who've never been infected with COVID before, never been vaccinated with a COVID vaccine before, and who've never been given any antibodies against COVID. Also, to help ensure the study is generalizable to people who might be getting this medication in real life, the trial participants had to be people who were at increased risk of an inadequate vaccine response, such as people who are elderly, or people at increased risk of infection, such as healthcare workers. The study followed these people from November 2020 to now. And yes, the study is still ongoing, but after six months, as of May 5, 2021, the scientists had enough data to analyze and reach a conclusion. And the conclusion was that people who received Evusheld had a 77% less risk of getting symptomatic COVID infections compared with people who got placebo. If we want to be precise with the statistical terminology, that's a 77% relative risk reduction. So it's pretty good. Now, how is Evusheld taken? Well, if you've ever taken PrEP for HIV, you'd know the concept. PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. And in the case of HIV, it involves taking a medication once a day to prevent the person from getting HIV infection. In our case, instead of the once a day dosing, Evusheld is given as two injections into your muscle, one right after another, in just one sitting. So it's not an ongoing medication. The first injection contains 150 milligrams of the antibody Tixagivimab, and the second injection contains 150 milligrams of the antibody Silgavimab. Now these two antibodies bind to two different segments of the viral spike protein, preventing it from interacting with and infecting the human cell. So who is Evusheld for? Well, according to the product monograph, Evusheld is meant to be given to people who are over 12 years of age, weighing at least 40 kilograms, who have not had a known exposure to a person infected with SARS-CoV-2, who do not have a current ongoing COVID-19 infection, and importantly, who are immunocompromised or taking a medicine that compromises their immune system, or people who cannot take a COVID-19 vaccination because, for instance, of a severe allergy to the COVID vaccine ingredients. So why are we primarily giving Evusheld to these people? Well, it's because some people can't take the vaccine, and even if they do get a vaccine, it may not work for them. Vaccines against COVID work by stimulating the body's own immune system to produce its own antibodies and immune cells against COVID infection. Immune-compromised individuals have a weak or non-existent immune system so they're unlikely to mount an adequate immune response to COVID-19 vaccines, and so they can't produce adequate amounts of antibodies or immune cells against COVID-19 by themselves. And that's where Evusheld comes in. If some people can't make antibodies against COVID, we simply put the antibodies into their blood for them. So Evusheld is effectively a shortcut to getting protected against COVID-19 than the standard vaccination process. So if Evusheld is so effective and quick and easy, what are some reasons not to get it? Well, the first reason is if you have a serious anaphylactic allergy to any component of Evusheld, both the antibodies included and the other ingredients of this medicine. The second possible reason to not get Evusheld is if you have an underlying heart condition. In this study, more test subjects reported heart conditions 
as a serious adverse event, SAE, to Evusheld than to placebo. These serious heart conditions include heart attacks, heart failure, arrhythmias, or cardiac arrests. You can see from the table here that the numbers of people reporting these serious adverse events are low. Also, these events happened anywhere from several hours to several months following Evusheld injection. So there is still no evidence that Evusheld causes these heart conditions. Still, if you have a heart condition, you'd be better off talking with your doctor and having an evidence-informed discussion about the pros and cons of Evusheld for you personally prior to getting the injection. Finally, a third reason not to get Evusheld is if you've been previously vaccinated and if you're one of the people who are likely to mount a sufficient immune response against the vaccine. That's because the study was only done on people who had negative COVID-19 serology. That is, they only studied people who have either never had COVID or never had the vaccine to COVID. If you had the vaccine or you had a previous infection, you've already got COVID antibodies in your blood. So Evusheld may not be as effective as if you've never dealt with COVID or the vaccine before. So we've talked about whether Evusheld works, how Evusheld is taken, who's it for and why, and reasons not to get Evusheld. And now for the most important question of all, can Evusheld replace vaccination against COVID-19? My answer to that is gonna be no, and I'll give you four reasons why. First, there are significant limitations with this study demonstrating the efficacy of Evusheld. The drug is marketed towards people who are immunocompromised or immune deficient for whatever reason. Yet the number of people actually included in the subgroup analysis who are actually immunocompromised is quite limited. You can see here that just over 100 people or less than 4% of people studied were actually immunocompromised or on immunosuppressive drugs. No infections were actually observed in either the control arm or the treatment arm for patients with immunosuppressive disease since the total number of people studied in this subgroup was so small, 25 in total. And the effect size in general, as in two infections in the placebo group and one in the treatment group, was not large enough to achieve statistical significance as in, we can't say for sure whether Evusheld is effective in the immune-compromised population. The second limitation of the study is that the data may not be generalizable to the people who will actually take the medicine. For instance, the more elderly a patient is, the less likely that they'll be able to mount a sufficient immune response against the vaccine, and the more at risk they are of getting hospitalized or dying from COVID-19 infection. So presumably, we would want to give Evusheld more to seniors to help them augment their immune response against the COVID-19 virus. But only 4% of the study's patients were 75 years or older. This limits the generalizability of the study's conclusions on the efficacy and safety of Evusheld for the very elderly. The second reason for Evusheld not being a replacement for COVID-19 vaccines is that vaccines produce a diverse array of antibodies against the COVID-19 virus to prevent an infection. Evusheld only contains two antibodies. The greater abundance of different types of antibodies generated by vaccination allows for each vaccine to provide some protection against new variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. It is far easier for SARS-CoV-2 to evolve against two antibodies than it is to evolve against multiple. But note that Evusheld was not studied during the time of Omicron's rise in the general population in December 2021. So we don't actually know how effective Evusheld is in the real world population against the Omicron variant. The third reason that vaccines are preferable to Evusheld is that vaccines trigger long-term memory within the human body against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. They do this by triggering the development of memory B and T cells that then stay in your body to protect you for the long term. For Evusheld though, right now we only have evidence that it stays in your body for six months after the injection. And we don't know whether we can continue to give injections every six months to continually provide protection against COVID-19. Suffice to say that Evusheld does not provide long-term immune memory against SARS-CoV-2 for your body. And the fourth and final reason for vaccinations still being preferable to Evusheld is that while Evusheld has been shown to prevent COVID-19 infections, we still don't have enough data to conclude that Evusheld protects against hospitalizations and death from COVID-19. And we know for a fact that vaccination protects you against hospitalization and death from COVID-19, even against infections caused by the Omicron variant. So that's it. I hope this video has given you a brief introduction to what Evusheld is, who it's for, how it's taken, and why vaccines are still preferable against COVID-19 infection. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more from Dr. Yu Explains. If you're curious about Evusheld, I've provided more links and references in the text below this video. Take care.
and stay safe.